All right, chat, say hi. Hi, YouTube. Oh, my God. That's crazy. Anyways, you guys might be like, hey, what the fuck are we doing? And, uh, well, if you were watching my stream, twitch.tv slash totally not golden, um, you would know that we are going to be doing a COD Zombies tier list. Now, it has every single fucking Zombies map, I think, from Bla from World at War, yeah, Doris, so World at War, to uh, Vanguard, including all the spinoffs. So, I'm just going to get the spinoffs out of the way. Never played Exodus, never played Descent, never never played the, actually, I did play the Darkest Shore, we'll save that one. Um... Never played... Actually, I have played that one as well. That, that's a shit map. Uh, da, 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 da. Never played the Frozen Dawn. Never played Outbreak. The the original... The original. The, the a, AW Outbreak. Never played Awakening. Don't even know what game that belongs to. Um, Never played... Da, 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 Trying to find the maps I haven't put Nightfall. What the fuck is Nightfall? I feel like that has to be... That looks like it has to be Advanced Warfare or Ghosts. I've never played Point of Contact, which I'm almost positive is Ghosts. Never played Mayday, which I know is Ghosts. Never played... Uh... Never played The Torture Path. Never played... Fucking... I'm looking for the ones that are from some weird-ass games. Okay, I think I've played all of these. I think I've gotten to the point where I played... Oh, no. Shadow Throne, I haven't played. Uh, Infection, never played. And... Okay, I think that's it. All right. So, let's jump right into this. All right, so, here's our tiers. S, near perfect. A, great. B, good. C, average. D, lackluster. That's, that's... See, I don't want this. I want this to be uh, goaded. Uh, I'm pretty solid, pretty good, pretty great. Uh, all right, really good. Uh, average. Mid. Trash. Vanguard. <laughs> all right let's jump right into this so i i'm not going in order of games because this wasn't organized and i don't care to organize this kino der toten i'm gonna say that's a pretty great one it's a classic i'm definitely biased that's my first zombies map i've ever played but uh you know it's pretty it's famous for a reason it's famous because it's good because it got a lot of people in the zombies it's probably the first amount a lot of people played. And it's pretty much... It's one of the best... All, it holds up to today. I think it still holds up. That is a game that I will play. Not a game. A map that I will play consistently. Uh, Revelations. Ooh, I actually don't like Rev. I think it's mid. It's not trash, but it's not good. Like, it is just a clusterfuck. And navigating the map is a pain in the ass. The zombies, just way too much is going on with that. Way too many boss battles and everything. It's just too much. Too much. Ascension. This one, this this one is going to get me some uh, criticism from the zombies community. I fucking hate Ascension. It is a boring map. Too easy to high round. Which I don't like. I like my challenges. And the monkeys, uh, pieces of shit. Uh, so that's definitely trash. I fucking hate Ascension. I I will ne I never touch Ascension. If I can, I never touch it. The Darkest Shore. Uh, I'm actually gonna say that's mid. I think it's better than Ascension, and I know that's gonna cause some hate. I love the map design, and I also love the opening sequence where you're on the beach and you just have a fucking gun that just mows down a bunch of zombies. Like, bro, bro, that's awesome. I don't even care. Like the 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 thing, the game is the map itself is pretty bad. But, like, I like it. Although, I have no idea. 
I don't think I've ever killed, like, the fucking boss zombie that has, like, the arms behind him, and he's like, meh. Don't think I've killed him, because I don't care to. Because the map's not that fun. But so let's be very honest here. It's not that good of a map. But it's, it's, it's tolerable. Okay. Now the final Reich. I like the final Reich. That is a good map. That is by far the best map in that game. By far. Like, it's not even moderately close. I fucking love the final Reich. I can... I can play that game consistently. I, I couldn't tell you what the fucking power, or like, the Wonder Woman is. I want to say, it's like, oh my god, I haven't played this map in years. But, I just remember being very fun. I love the boss fight. The Easter egg fight, it's so good. Uh, that's a good map for me. I mean, it could be better. I also love the what I call the burnt chicken nuggets. A.K.A. the people that, like, come out of the fucking flaming hole when you light it on fire. That one, you know, I like it. It's a pretty good map. Origins, that is a, a goaded map. Undeniably goaded. I fucking love Origins, man. I could I could play Origins a lot. The Panzer scares the fuck out of me every time it spawns in, but it's like a good scare because it keeps me on my toes. Um, The map layout, pretty fun. There's one main critique I have, which is the generators can suck my dick. Because I hate having to run around the map constantly to get generators started. And then one will go down and I have to run across map and another one's down. It's just too much fucking work. That's the only thing that I actually have to say. I actually want to say it's pretty great. I don't think it's goaded because of that. Because that shit pisses me the fuck off. Zombies in Spaceland? Pretty great as well. I think that's probably the best map in that game. And it is probably one of my favorite zombies maps. It is arguably a top 10 zombies map. In... Um, in Zombies history. It is ridiculously good. I'm actually going to place it above Kino. It is a very fun map to explore. And just have a good time with. And then on the flip side. <laughs> the Beast from Beyond is dog shit. Uh, absolutely horrendous. I, I'm arguing. I'm, I'm not putting in the Vanguard here. It's that bad. Like, it's, it's this bad. I fucking hate that map. I hate it with a passion. I never want to play it. I'm not going to count. These, I'm not going to count individual fucking transit maps. Although, Bus Depot is probably like a mid. Actually, do they just have transit? If they don't just have, okay, they do just have transit. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to put all these individual transit maps in here. I like them all. They're all them by themselves are pretty good besides uh, Bus Depot. But, uh, is that it? Uh, no, isn't there? Oh, I'm thinking of Diner, but I don't think that's a zombies map technically. Oh, never played Carrier either. Um... Okay, so, where was I? Die Rise. Another controversial statement. I think Die Rise is an alright map. I like Die Rise. I have played that map with friends and had a great time. I have played it solo and had an okay time. It's not the worst map, no, no, man. I, I think I've changed my opinion because I think the last time I did a tier list, I think I put it in trash. Uh, It's not that bad. I don't think it's trash. I think it's mid to average. I will say probably more on the mid side. I think it's still worse than rep. Um, but I don't know. I kind of like it. It's just a pain in the ass to navigate. And also you fall off the map too many times. So that is my biggest problem. Malware Dertoen, uh, Good map. Very good map. I like that map a lot. It's pretty fun. Kind of basic. Kind of kind of really basic layout. But I like it. It reminds me of classic zombies. With a little bit of a modern zombie twist with the boss. I, I'll take it. It's pretty cool. Nach Derantoen. Look. Let's be honest. We can't say this is a great map. Because it's not. It's very average. Uh, It's a mid map. Look. I understand. It's what started zombies. It's what got it like popular. But like, let's keep it a buck with you. It's not that good. Like it is a very okay map. It is only famous because it is the first one. Like, if this came out any other time, it would be viewed as, like, a bad map. So, I'm saying it's mid. Moon? I love this map. I fucking love this map. I don't know why I'm going through these so fast, but I love this map to death. Moon is probably one of my favorite zombies maps of all time. It is a pretty great zombies map. Um, I used to play the fuck out of this with my friends. And honestly, I know a lot of people hate the astronaut. That like chases you down. I have no problems with him. He's just a fucking menacing motherfucker. 
who can just wreck your shit. But I don't have any problems with him. I actually find him as a pretty good, uh, pretty good guy to keep you on your toes. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty great. It's fucking moon. Why wouldn't it be? Voyage of Despair? I don't like it. I think it's trash. It is a bad map. It is a inarguably bad map. Um, the layout, super confusing. Every room honestly looks the same. I was trying to record it with uh, my homie Nexus for our Mega Collab video. The game crashed, so I couldn't because it's Black Ops 4. Um, but, yeah, no. Uh, I, me and him just got continuously fucking lost in the map because every room looks the same. There's like three grand rooms. It's like ridiculous. And they all have a very similar layout. So, to me, it's just trash. Like, I just, I fucking hate it. Uh, I mean, the Wonder Weapon's cool. I mean, <laughs> that's about it. Um, Pack-a-punching is a pain in the ass on the map. And a few other things. Outbreak. The the, uh, the actual Outbreak. The more modern one. I'm gonna say is average. I like it. But I can't play it with friends. I mean, I can't play it solo. I can play it with friends. That's the only way I can play that map. If I'm playing it solo, I never want to touch it. If I'm playing it with friends, it's like one of the most fun modes. It is... It is the most divisive map I've ever had, personally. Because either I love it or I hate it. There, I've never had an in-between. With that mode. Uh, Groston House. I think it's pretty good. I think it's on the same level as Final Reich. I think it's pretty solid. Um, I'm gonna say... I, I don't know. I like how confined it is. I really do. I like the fact that it's not a wide-ass open map. It's a survival map. Like, it's... Hey, hold out for as long as possible. And, I mean, that's a really cool concept. And I like it. And... Honestly, those are probably some of the better maps of the game. Those survival maps. Um, and yeah, I mean, it was just a good time. Dead of the Night, admittedly, I played it once. I can't fairly judge it. I'm going to put it in haven't played. Um, because the one time I played it, I had no idea. I like the scenery. And honestly, I don't have much else to say. It's a zombies map with uh, fucking werewolves and vampires. But since I haven't played it enough, I can't really rank it. The Rising Drac. Hmm. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to weigh it out. Okay, so the bows are pretty fucking cool. The layout's pretty good. I'm gonna say it's pretty great. I'm say it's pretty great. I like it. I think um I think it as a whole it's pretty good. I have no complaints with the Rising Drake. I don't think it's amazing. Though. I mean, I think some people overrate it, but it's definitely one of the best maps in Black Ops 3 and probably one of the best maps ever. Undeniably. Okay, Darice. Goaded. I can play Darice any day of the week solo with friends. Whenever, wherever, I will play that shit. I love Darice. Best map in the game ever. Best map in the series. That one is actually the GOAT. In my opinion. It's undeniable. Uh, nine... Another pretty good map. I'm gonna put it uh right about here. I think it's better than Kino. I'm gonna have to drop Kino down now I think about it. <laughs> yeah, we're going to drop Kino. Uh so yeah, Kino's down there. Yeah, no, I like it. I think there I think uh nine. I like the fucking theme of being in a what? A Roman Coliseum, basically. It's not Roman, but in a Coliseum. Um and, you know, find these uh, zombies, find these, like, what are those fucking things called that are super annoying and have the things on their backs? Uh, I can't think of them. But, them, <laughs> they're cool. Uh, man, I can't think of the names. I don't know, I like how it's just basically, hey, you're in a Colosseum, there's like four temples of gods. Pack-a-punch is really easy to get, it reminds me a lot of classic COD, with how you just get pack-a-punch pretty easily, with only having to do like one minor step, uh, which is just killing like four gladiators, which is really easy, and a tiger. So three gladiators and a tiger, and then that's it, I and mean, it's like really fucking easy. So, uh, I appreciate that. I think it's one of the most simple maps in the game, but simplicity is a positive for me. I always like simplicity. And, um zombies if it's a simple map as long as it's not like too simple like knocked i think there's a it's gonna be good shaolin shuffle yeah i played this like four times 
And I think progressively I've hit, I liked it less. Every single time I played it, I've gotten, I've liked it less. I think it's an average map. Um, I mean, the theme is fucking awesome, but just, it's not that fun. Like, it's kind of just wide open in a lot of areas. And I'm fine with it, but it just doesn't, I don't know, I'm just not the biggest fan. I don't know how to describe it. I'm just not. And then also, I'm pretty sure it's like the fucking things that explode, like the rollerblade zombies or whatever the fuck. I'm pretty sure that's on that map. Bro, they're annoying. I don't like them. They're like the annoying version of dogs. And it's like worse. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no. Shadow and Shuffle's average. Zetsubo. I used to play this map all the time with my friends. And in hindsight, I think it's average. <laughs> I don't think it's that good. I think people absolutely overrate Zetsubo. Um, and underrated. I think a lot of people will have it either in pretty great or trash. Like, I don't think it's that. I think it's just average. Um, the spiders are cool. The atmosphere is cool. But the map layout itself is kind of ass. And I can't think of the zombie. But it's the one that, like, the, four, the spore, like, explodes onto it. And then it just becomes, like, this fucking huge behemoth. And it's an... Uh -uh. No, absolutely not. It's an annoying boss zombie. Fuck off. Five. I like this map. I like five. It's a pretty cool map. Um, what's it called? I like it. Pentagon Thief is dope. The theme is dope being in the Pentagon. Um, playing as the, what is it? JFK, Nixon, Fidel, and I can't think of the other guy. But I mean, it's pretty fucking funny. I love the map. It's awesome. And, I mean, yeah, I don't know what else really to say. This is pretty cool. The theme is dope. Zombies are easy. Like how the layout isn't too difficult. It's confined. It makes it really difficult to survive, but it's not too difficult to learn. And I like that. Attack of the Radioactive Thing. Played it like three times. Thought it was alright. Nothing too good. Nothing too bad. Just wasn't that fun. I mean, that's pretty much how I viewed it. It was just... Map layout was a little bit shitty. I'm not going to lie. The map layout is my biggest problem with it. But, aside from that, it's alright, I guess. That's pretty much it. Shadows of Evil, I would say, is goaded. Admittedly, I think Shadows of Evil is either you love it or you hate it type map. I fucking love this map. The Margua? God damn, it's probably one of the coolest boss zombies ever. Uh, it's a challenging boss zombie if you have no clue what the fuck you're doing. But once you figure out, hey, just shoot it in the face. Um, when it's mouth opens, it's pretty easy, and it's a pretty fun map, and pack's pretty simple to get, you just do all the rituals, I like that, that's pretty simple, the meatballs as I call them, the like little rolly dudes that explode, pretty cool, I like that, the map layout, I think I said this already, but map layout's fucking awesome, like the theme, I love, I love themes of like cities, like this is really cool, um, Morgue City really comes alive in that aspect, and it's really cool, the machine okay 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 so this basically fixes all my issues i had with knocked this is mm, it's somewhere between these three i don't think it's goaded i'm gonna say pretty great i'm gonna say you pretty great but a lot behind origins ahead of zombies and space Line. i fucking love this map i can play it again it's one of those maps i can play solo i can play with friends i can do it however whenever it's a great fucking map i've always had a great time with it um i mean it's just a really fun time and to play it with friends especially and the map layout is really simple it's a return to classic zombies and i love it it really set the tone for what cold war was going to be which is kind of a mix between like black ops 3 and like kind of like gameplay but Still being simple like Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. So holding its roots while still looking to the future. And like, I love the infinite perks. I mean, it's cool. Set the tone. It's a great map. No issues. A 10 out of 10. Maybe not 10 out of 10. Like 8 out of 10. Um, Wonder Weapon could have been better. Wonder Weapon could have been way better in that map. I, I will say that. Firebase Z. Okay. okay, I think this is a good map. I think this is... Uh, right behind Mauer. There we go. Right behind Mauer. I think it's solid. 
but I don't think it's anything super special. I can't think of this guy's name. Oh, uh, the Mimic. Mimic, it's alright, just kind of fucking annoying. Like, it's obvious that's a Mimic. You see it spawn in, and then you go, well, I guess a Mimic's about to spawn. And then it's an annoying ass mother like motherfucker to kill. It's pretty easy if you have a pack punch gun, but like it's just an annoying like time waster. And I mean it's okay. Aside from that though, the map beautiful. I love the jungle area where I want to say you go to pack where you start off. Um, and I the little village, not the jungle, the village. Then you go to firebase. Firebase pretty cool. Really fucking easy layout, honestly. Like I learned that shit on my second playthrough. I knew every single spot where I had to go. All of it, really easy. Um, I, I don't, was the Wonder Weapon the Ray K? I think it was the Ray K, which was like a cool Wonder Weapon, but also kind of fucking overpowered, and was just a little bit too strong. I'm not gonna lie, just a little bit too strong. Um, but I had a great time with it, I loved it. Um, alright, who, who said, okay. I just saw someone say transit's gonna be like an S tier, and that's gross. That is, that's, that's a bad take. That's a bad take. I'm not, obviously, I hope that's just trolling, but that's a bad take. Okay, Alpha Omega. Haven't played it, really. I, it's the same situation as Dead of the Night. I played it for one video. Mob of the Dead, go to, probably my favorite map of all time. This one in Doris, like, swap. I love this. The, like, the layout's beautiful. The boss zombie and is Brutus, beautiful, uh, like really, really fun zombie. Pretty much is just a Panzer again, and it's great. Except he doesn't, he just fucking whoops your ass instead of like lighting you on fire, which I like, um, or like blowing your ass up, which I actually like more than the Panzer. He keeps you on your toes. The map layout's fucking dope. I love being an Alcatraz. The Easter egg and the way you pack it and everything pretty cool i like it um i mean yeah it's just a really good map the cast uh, is like playing as basically gang in mobsters escaping prison is pretty cool so i mean yeah pretty much all i gotta say blood of the dead just is a way shittier mob of the dead i don't hate it i don't love it it's good i i really don't have anything to say on it i am very indifferent it is a good map, but it is in a... It, they tried doing too much. They tried doing too much on mob. To make it different, and yet they kept it the same, you know? And that's not good. Like, you gotta... Either make a whole new map, or just... Just rerun with mob with the cast, and, like, maybe have a few minor changes. Shino. Mid. <laughs> mid. That's mid. It's the first time we had, I want, no, it's not the first time we had perks, but, up, I think, was it? No, Baruch was, right? So, it's alright. I don't know what else to say. It's alright. It's an okay map. Just boring as fuck. I can't play that map. I'm not gonna put it in trash because it's such an early map, but it is not good at all. Um, Transit. Ooh. So, if I'm playing solo as trash. I'm playing with friends, it becomes average. I'm gonna put it in mid. Because it's a really fun map to play with friends because it's just stupid fun times. But uh if you're playing it solo, it's it's one it's probably the worst map to play solo, genuinely. It's fucking awful. Besides the beast from beyond, it's it's terrible. The giant's just Doris, so I'm just gonna put this where Doris is. It's also flawless. I fucking love Doris. It's a perfect map. Buried pretty good. I love buried Leroy. Pretty cool. I think his name's Leroy. I don't know. Um. Yeah, no, I like it. The way that you can get free perks by just killing all the fucking witches. Love that. That makes life way easier. The pack a punch area inside, like, the mansion's maze and everything. Also really cool. Map layout's fucking flawless. Only critique I have is the paralyzer. Kind of makes this map a little bit too easy. Uh, because you can just camp it. Um. But it's actually a really good map overall. Probably my favorite out of the pretty great tier. It is. It's a really good time, man. <laughs> That's the top five zombies map, in my opinion. Um, Tog. Here, you know what? Before we rank Tog, let's rank Call of the Dead. Okay. So this has. Oh my god, I feel like such an idiot. 
Oh my god. No, hold on. I'm not, I'm not, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. Boss zombie on. I feel so bad. It's the guy who made, uh, the, George Romero. There it is. Oh my god. I feel so dumb. Call of the Dead. It's an RA map. It's average, in my opinion. I don't have any strong feelings towards it. I don't like it, though. It's not great. I can play it, and my friends want to play it, but I'm not picking it personally. I'll pick any of these above it. Basically. Actually, not Blow the Dead. I don't know why Blow the Dead is that high. <laughs> I'll pick any of these maps above it. Uh, Tog? Th this is why I wanted to rank Call of the Dead first, so y'all could see where I... Where I... I am a moron. Where I vote Call, because y'all are going to hate me for this one, but, uh... Tog's better than Tog's better than Call of the Dead. I don't think it's really close. I I much rather play Tog. Like much rather. I like, Tog just feels like a more fun version of it. Like I can actually run around and not have to worry about fucking dying of frostbite or anything. I mean the Easter egg, it's it's the wrap up of the zombie story. I like it. That's a pretty good map. Pretty solid. I don't really have much else to say. It's just better than Call of the Dead. I think it's a pretty great map. Ancient Evil, really haven't played it. Same situation as these three. Played it like once. Raven the Redwoods. I have returned to this map several times. I think this is a good map. I enjoy this one. Raven the Redwoods is definitely up there as one of the better maps out of... What's it called? Out of Infinite Warfare. I... I like how Jason, I want to say it's Jason, is like, we'll actually come to kill you if you do, like, the drugs, basically. And I, that's just a cool concept. It's just a fucking cool concept. I don't know what else to say. It's just pretty fucking neat. I love it a lot. The whole vibe of it, especially once you're on, like, the, the drugs. Pretty cool. The whole look is awesome. It's like neon bright fucking fluorescence. I love it. It's a rave. As it should be, so. Classified. It's worse than 5, but... Uh, no, it's better than 5. I like it more than 5, a little bit. Um, I'm not fully sure why, though. <laughs> it's, it's interesting. There's no reason to like it more than 5, but I do. I think it's just because it's more open and I can explore more. Which you don't get in 5. But, like... <laughs> yeah. Gorod, played it a few times. Dragons are cool. Honestly, it's average to me. So it's, I'm not a big fan of Black Ops 3. You'll very quickly realize. Black Ops 3, to me, is, outside of, like, two maps, pretty mid. Um, Shangri-La, uh, it's mid. <laughs> That's a mid map. I'm not a big fan of it. The Monkey, nah. The Napalm Zombies can go fuck right off. The Shriekers. I think that's in that map as well. You can go fuck right off. Just not, just not having it. Just not having it. <laughs> Absolutely the fuck not. Verrucked. I love it. D fucking pretty great. S uh, almost S tier. It's not that good, but it's up here. It's like right around here. I'm actually gonna put it like right here. I think it's below all these, but it's, it's fucking great. The atmosphere is by far the best of any zombies map. Also not a thanks for the follow. Sorry, I didn't see that. Um, But the atmosphere is by far the best out of any zombies map. And it's not really even close. It gives the most creepy fucking vibe out of any of them. And like the shrieks of like the people that you hear. And just like the dripping water and everything. Every single element of it is fucking flawless for zombies. And I love it to death. Verrucked is pretty great simply because of the atmosphere. I mean, in World at War, there was like some... The zombies... Used to be fucking ridiculously fast on Baruch. Like there used to be this thing called Baruch Sprinters. Which are annoying. But aside from that, I mean like it's cool. Uh Forsaken. It's mid. <laughs> that, that's a mad. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm not gonna say it's trash, but it's on the bottom of mid. I don't like it. I mean I've played it a few times. It's just it's already just a map from a fucking campaign with zombies slapped in it. And it's pretty boring. I don't even remember the Easter egg or um the wonder weapon there was like nothing special about it to me i had there was nothing in particular that made that map interesting also i'm just putting both of these vanguard maps in here 
I don't care. The Vanguard's fucking dog shit. Like, it was a bad map, and it's still a bad map. I mean, bad game. <coughs> uh, and Nuketown Zombies? It's average. I like it. It's better than Outbreak. I think it's, uh, it's pretty good. I have a very good time when I play Nuketown because it's just a fun survival map. I think it does have a lot of replayability. It's like Noct or Antone if Noct was a little bit less basic, right? And I think that's where Nuketown really shines. I think it's actually better than Blood. And Shaolin. Okay, I'm putting it here. This is where it stops. I think it's better than Zetsubo, but it's here. The middle of average, so it's extremely average. Um, But I have a great time with it. I love playing it. I love the random perk and packed like spawns. I fuck with that big time. Um, and I like the compactness. I know a lot of people don't like the compactness of the map because that's what makes it super challenging. But I like that because it makes it super challenging. Um, I'd rather be playing a challenging but fun map than an easy and not fun map, which I think there are some of, especially in later games, right? So... This is my official zombies tier list. Uh, let me know how cursed this is in the comments below on the YouTube video. Let me know where you would rank things differently. Where um, where I'm right, where I'm wrong, where I missed horrendous, where I hit a fucking home run. Um, yeah, just let me know. I had a great time recording this. Kino should be top goaded, and it's not even close. I can see it being in top of pretty great. Top of goaded is an insane statement. I think that is just nostalgia. I love BO1. It's my favorite COD Zombies. I think in general. Like, I can play all the maps on that map, on that game, and have no issues. Besides Shang, rely on my Shang. Um, but it is, that is just nostalgia speaking. I don't believe that it's that good. I think that it is very. Solid, I think it is probably the most fundamentally sound of Zombies map. I think it's probably the most replayable, but I don't think it's the best individual time. Like, if I load up Kino, I know what I'm doing. I know exactly everything. I kind of like there being just a little bit of a... Um, more of a challenge. I can easily get to, like, round 50 on Kino. Uh, some of these other maps, I can't. And I like that more about that. Besides Doris. Doris is fucking easy to get to round 50. But that's also because you have to Wonder Wolf. And that, that map is just fun. So uh, that's why it's on Goaded. You know what? I'll cut you a deal. I'll put it in top of great. Pretty great. Because I, I do... Well, not below. I'm not ahead of Barry. No, fuck off. But it is pretty great. I think it's um right below Buried. I can give you that one. Don't show up at the meeting. I'm going to score up with you. <laughs> no, please. Please. Oh, let me make this uh, text like black so they can see it. Yeah, so this is where it is. I can, I understand it being here. I think top of good is a little bit questionable. But, yeah. I think that's where it stops. I think that's where it would stop rising. Alright, well that's gonna pretty much do this. Do it for this one. Again, comments. Let me know if I missed. Let me know if I hit on some of these. Um... I mean, Nada's gonna be chewing me out in a fucking meeting over these tier over these uh tier lists. So I mean, that's gonna be a fun time. But yeah, uh, I guess I'll see y'all later. Thanks so much for watching this video, and peace out, everyone. Bye bye.